undermining Islam, Moroccan given two years imprisonment for blasphemy. On September 13th, Moroccan blogger Fatima Karim was sentenced to two years in prison for undermining the Islamic religion after she posted offensive writings on Facebook. Fatima has been in detention since mid-July for sharing satirical verses of the Quran and hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad on her Facebook page. In the trial, Fatima's representation argued that she had exercised her right to freedom of speech under the Moroccan constitution. Fatima claimed that she supports secularism, which means the indifference to or rejection of or exclusion of religion and religious considerations. She also publicly apologized to anyone who felt offended. Habib uh, Ad Adi, Fatima's lawyer, said it's a very harsh verdict and further added that an appeal in causation was still under study. Is that the right word? How do you pronounce that word? I don't think that's what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about this news because I think it's important to, one, highlight that there are people who are prosecuted and criminalized for blasphemy all over the world. Two, because Morocco is supposed to be generally more of a... People, you know, highlight it more as like, oh, you know, this is a more moderate society. Um, you still get stuff like this there which is really disappointing and um there's also a lot of activists i know in morocco who get you know persecuted with this kind of bs all the time undermining the islamic religion like what does that even mean well what did she say exactly i haven't been able to find copies of it but she was posting satirical versions of the Quran and Hadiths, or yeah, satirical renditions. Two, year, two years for that? This is mm -hmm. Morocco. This is not Pakistan. Why is Morocco acting like Pakistan? Two years? I mean, honestly, if you were Pakistan, you would get death sentence. Never mind. Um, True. Yeah, that's not yeah. a fair comparison at all. But still, two years in Morocco? Like, Morocco is supp supposed to be way past. I mean, it's not. But like guys, this is the best you can get. Like this is some of the best, the more, the most liberal you can get when it comes to Islamic countries. Like Morocco, the examples you get for more liberal Islamic countries are Morocco, Tunisia, Indonesia, and Malaysia, right? And we get like, so the best you can get. When like you actually something... look into it, you're like, this is pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad, and it's the best you can expect from Islamic world. I mean, again, guys, like, so when it, when we criticize India, okay, you have to take this into context, right? We are against many things that are happening to India, okay? But as bad as India is, is it's better than the best of Islamic countries. So forget about the worst Islamic countries, which is like Iran, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, like th those standards are insane, right? Even when it comes to the countries that have the highest standards of liberalism, like the closest to liberal values and secular values, India is still better than those countries. So just keep that into context. Like you don't get two years in jail for coming up with a satirical version of, I don't know, Gita or anything. You get FIRs, you might get something, but you don't get two years in prison. In India, you will get in trouble, maybe if you like, Make cartoons of Cali or something like that. You might get in trouble, right? You might get, I don't know, harassed or something. But the government doesn't put you in jail for two years. Um, so actually, keep, yeah. the the if you are sentenced, sure. the maximum punishment you can get for Section 295, which is one of India's blasphemy codes, is three years or a fine or both. Yeah, but has anybody gotten three years in prison for blasphemy in India? I don't know that off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. There's a difference between what Thunder Books and what actually happens. Yeah. Now, now I'm curious. Well, if I'm wrong, correct me. Again, I'm not excusing India. India is moving in the wrong direction. I'm just saying, like, just keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, <laughs> Such as like, um, I don't know how to take that. The standard offends me, but the praise <laughs> pleases me. <laughs> LA, you're saying India is bad, but you're telling me that it's better than all Islamic countries. So I have mixed feelings about you. <laughs> I have mixed feelings. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and it's what's really sad is that this penalty is possibly going to be increased to five years in prison because there's a condition where if the offense is committed in public, including by electronic means... Yeah. then you can get sentenced to five years. Yeah, but we don't have examples of somebody going to jail for two years or more for blasphemy in India. We just don't have that. I don't think you can make that claim. I am making that claim. If I'm wrong, correct me. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's good to remember right. that in June of last year, we talked about this. There was an Italian Moroccan woman who was sentenced to three and a half years in prison, also for undermining Islam. And she was released... Actually, it was then it was amended to two months sus suspended prison sentence only because human rights defenders came out and they were like, what the hell is going on? And really, it's because the Italian government got involved because it was one of their citizens. Yeah, so um, somebody was shot dead, somebody saying in a live chat, but by who? The government didn't shoot anybody for blasphemy. Okay, are you talking about mob justice or are you talking about the government? The government, like, oh, yeah, we killed this person because they were blaspheming, I don't know, Rama or something. There's, that doesn't happen in India. By the government, okay? What, what the people do, that's a different thing. Gay Nomadic right. is saying, Armin is so cute when he giggles. That's <laughs> such a cute thing uh -huh. to say. Thank you. All right. Should we, oh, should we move on? See, nobody yeah, we, could, we have a lot of people from India in the live chat. Nobody has corrected me. I'm going to take this as a potential sign that I'm correct about this because I'm sure people will be shouting it right now if I'm wrong. Oh, here, Troy is saying. I feel so bad sometimes because you come down so hard. What? <laughs> in the Gyanwabi mosque thing, you were like, Are you not ashamed, embarrassed? I'm like, They didn't do anything. Shit. <laughs> I'm not who well, I'm talking about. Okay, no. So Troll is saying, good point, Re, what is on the books and legal practice. Until a few years ago, Denmark had a blasphemy law that stipulated up to two years for imprisonment, not enforced for 70 years. Yeah. So you can't judge by what's on the book. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.